Math Tales of the Iditarod, number 8, by Roxanne, Sonia, and Maria. In 2006, Jeff King won the race in 9 days, 11 hours, 11 minutes, and 26 seconds, winning $69,000. In 2014, Dallas CV ran the Iditarod in 8 days, 13 hours, 4 minutes, and 19 seconds, winning $50,400. In 1974, Carl Huntington ran the race in 20 days, 15 hours, 1 minute, and 7 seconds, and got $12,000. In 2014, Travis Beals raced with the time of 11 days, 3 hours, 18 minutes, and 38 seconds, and got $1,049. In 2006, Peter Bartol ra raced with the time of 12 days, 2 hours, 34 minutes, and 12 seconds, and got... $1,049. Also, in 2014, Christy Barrington raced with a time of 10 days, 19 hours, 20 minutes, and 26 seconds and got $1,900. Questions. What is the mean of the total amount of money? What is the median of the total amount of money? What is the mode of the total amount of money? What is the difference between Christie's and Dallas's time? What is the mean of the total amount of money? So practically what we're doing is just finding the average. So we're adding up all the amounts of money and that will give us the total of $135,398. And then we're dividing that by 6 because there are 6 amounts of money. So then to get after dividing, we get 22,566.3333, which would round to 22,566.34. And that's the answer. What is the median of the total amount of money? So what we're doing is just lining up all the amounts of money. And usually there's just supposed to have um, one amount of money in the end. But since there was an even amount of numbers, um, we ended up with two. So to figure it out, we're just going to average it. So adding 12,000 with 1,900, you're going to get 13,900. And then we're dividing that by two. And that will give us the answer of... 6,950. What is a mode? The mode means you have the most of that number. And since it's only one of each except for 1,049, then our mode is 1,049. Okay, to solve question four, what we're doing is subtracting Christie's time with Dallas' time. So Christie's time is 10 days, 9 hours, 20 minutes, and 26 seconds, while Dallas' time is 8 days, 13 hours, 4 minutes, and 19 seconds. First, we're subtracting the seconds. So 26 minus 19 would give you 17 seconds. 20 minutes minus 4 minutes would give you 16 minutes. 9 hours minus 13 hours, you obviously can't do. So we're just borrowing from the days. So it's um, now it's 9 days, and 24 hours plus 9 hours would equal 33 hours. 33 minus... 13 would give you 20 hours, and 9 days minus 8 days would equal 1 day. So your answer is 1 day, 20 hours, 16 minutes, and 17 seconds.